some students here at Olivet are on their way to receiving their MRS degree, but others are in a rush to find a significant other before they graduate. Because we all know if you graduate single, you'll end up with 40 cats alone. Luckily, we have this game, and one lucky guy and one lucky girl will be going on an all-expense-paid date to Jimmy John's. Welcome to the dating game. <laughs> lovely bachelorettes tonight and we're gonna get to know them before we jump into the question asking and we meet our bachelor um, so we're gonna get to know a little bit about you and I see that bachelor number one you're a big fan of the show office and that you've watched almost every single episode at least three times tell us a little bit about that yeah that's true um, I would consider Michael Scott one of my spirit animals okay. and all around it's just a great show um, <laughs> I started my freshman year of high school and I still watch it almost weekly, so it's been a ride. You've been changed since then. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, that is, wow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and Bachelorette number two, so you are a huge fan of Spongebob. Tell I us am. a little bit about that then. Yeah, yeah. I was really moved in 1999 when the show came out. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I own all three seasons on DVD. Um, yes. I'm a really big fan. Went opening day when I was in fourth grade to go see the movie. Um, yeah, just a just a great bond for our family and friends. And you know, I quote it often and daily. <laughs> yes, I want to rock. How about go for Cooper? Okay, never mind. I know. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Do you know what that's from? Like from the SpongeBob movie. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I always said that in geology. All right. Okay, and Bachelorette number three, so you're a weather spotter. Yep. And what is that? Uh, basically, I spot weather, and I've been trained in it since I was like 10. And um, basically, if I see anything unusual or a tornado or something like that, I just call it in. So, wow. yeah, it's, it's fun. Sometimes we get in the car, like my dad and I, he's a weather spotter too, and we oh. uh, try to spot a tornado. Oh, so, it only happened once, but you so know. do you like get out and like film it? And everything? Yeah, yeah. They suggest not to do that, but we do it anyways. So oh, it's fun. <laughs> she lives on the edge. <laughs> okay. Well, you'll have to let that come out when the question asker comes to ask <laughs> questions. I feel like that's a movie like the question asker. <laughs> A question asker. Okay, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> All right, well, now that we've gotten to know you lovely ladies, we're going to meet our bachelor next. But before we do that, we're going to hear some advice that Olivet students had to say about dating. Take a look. So, what would you say is a good pickup line for dating? A good pickup for Olivet dating or like for dating? There's a difference. What? My personal favorite of my own creation is hey, my hand is really cold, touch it and then they reach out and grab your hand, and then you just keep holding on. Say, oh, that's so much better. If I was a Pokemon trainer and you were a Pokemon, you'd be Pikachu, because I choose you. Every time. <laughs> there it is. What is your go-to pickup line, or what is a good pickup line? Okay. Can I have your picture so I can show Santa what I want for Christmas? <laughs> Are you Google? Because I just found what I'm searching for. <laughs> If you were a pirate, would you like your pair on this shoulder or this shoulder and just go for it? Um, is it hot in here or is that just the Holy Spirit burning inside of you? Have you ever used that pickup line? No, I'm focusing on my relationship with God more than others. Welcome back. We're here with our bachelor who is ready to dive into those questions. Um, and just a little bit about you. So you are an inventor. That is correct. I have uh, invention and ideas ranging from space technology to furniture to clothing. I, the ideas just come and I write them down. I have over 73 right now. Wow. Yes. That's awesome. Have you ever got any to be like approved or? 
No, patents are hard to get. Oh, <laughs> and yeah. And I'm in college still, and I don't have the funds to really get them off the ground. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. That's great to know. Not many people are like that. Mm -hmm. All right. And are you ready to ask those questions and meet Miss, Mrs. Wright? I almost said Mr., but Mrs. Wright? Yes, let's begin. All right. So Number go ahead and ask those questions. All right. This is for all uh, bachelorettes. What is your major, and why did you choose ONU? We'll start with bachelorette number one. Okay, um, my major is fashion merchandising, and I chose Olivet because I just really fell in love with the campus when I visited, and I love the Christ aspect that's here. Okay, All right. and bachelorette number two? Um, I'm a comm major, uh, multimedia TV production, um, and I came to Olivet because they offered me a lot of money in scholarship and stuff. Yeah. That's not a bad thing. Nope. And bachelorette number three. I'm also um, multimedia studies, TV video. And uh, well, I, I love the campus, but also my dad uh, sent uh, other um, siblings here. So I'm the fourth one to come through. And he thought, you know, buy three, get one free. So, but it didn't quite work out like that. But it was worth a shot. <laughs> but yeah, I, I really love the campus. <laughs> well, it's a good place to be. All right, so we'll do the next question now. All right, this is for one and three. What was your best vacation and why? Um, my best vacation was probably to Hawaii when I was a junior in high school. And I went with my family and it was just a really fun trip. Um, we got to actually go up to the top of a volcano and watch the sunrise and then bike down it and that was just really fun. That's awesome. All right, and bachelorette number three? I would say Seattle, Washington, because I was there with my whole family, and um, I really like the, uh, the beaches. Like, you could go all the way from the beach all the way up to the top of the mountains and be in the woods, and so there's all sorts of beautiful scenery. So, yeah. Sounds like a beautiful time. And next question. All right, um, this is for one and two. What do you do in your spare time? And we'll start with bachelorette number one. Um, I know it's pretty cliche, but I just like to hang out with friends and have a good time with them. Um, I really enjoy, like I said, watching The Office. <laughs> um, I also enjoy the outdoors and hiking and kayaking and all that type of stuff. Okay, and bachelorette number two. Um, well, uh, I definitely like to watch movies, TV. Um, I'm a really big fan of historical stuff like documentaries and um, biographies. Um, I also really like to read a lot. I like to read uh, biographies and um, stuff like that. I'm a, I, yeah, I'm one of those people that reads textbooks for fun. Ooh, that's fun. The lady with brains. Mm. Yes. yes. <laughs> all right, this is for all of the bachelorettes. What is your pet peeve in a guy? And we'll start with bachelorette number one. Um, pet peeve, probably, I don't know, maybe just not being forward enough and kind of not having good communication. Okay, I feel you, yeah. All right, and bachelorette number two? Um, I don't like it when they don't buy me things. <laughs> <laughs> Never good. Never good. <laughs> and bachelorette number three. Um, I would just say poor manners. Yeah. Right. Don't like it when those guys burp in your face. That is not a good thing. Mm -mm. All right. Uh, what is everyone's favorite music? OK, and we'll start with bachelorette number one. Um, I'm a really big fan of Coldplay, and I like alternative music. And Bachelorette number two? Um, I really like all kinds of different music. Uh, my favorite artist right now is Macklemore, um, and I really like everything that he does. All right, and Bachelorette number three? Um, I really like all kinds of music. It just really depends on the day and the mood, <laughs> so, yep. Can you give uh, us a taste of something? Like, what did, what did you listen to today? Um, uh, I listened to Coldplay's new song, um, the one with the chimpanzees in it. I don't really know what it's called, but I thought it was fun. Okay. 
All right, next question. This is for two and three. What type of an animal would you be? Okay, number two. I would definitely be a bear, and I would say that um, my role model is Fozzie Bear. Um, I, just, I, just, I just love bears, like my spirit animal is Fozzie Bear. <laughs> All right, and bachelorette number three? Uh, I'm probably a deer. Uh, I'm very spacey, kind of artsy person, and I have my like head in the clouds, so I'm kind of like a deer where like the headlights come out of nowhere, and it's just like, oh, you know, kind sort of, of doughy-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, well, we have, <laughs> we have time for one more question, so ask away, the last one. All right, um, if I was to make your day special, how would I do that? And who is this who? Uh, this is for all of them. All of them? We'll start with bachelorette number one. Um, chicken nuggets are always a good option. <laughs> Bring me food of some sort. That would be appreciated. Yes. <laughs> and bachelorette number two? Um, I think one thing, like, I, I know a lot of girls like good morning texts, but if you were to text me, like, hey, what president did you dream about last night? Um, that's, <laughs> that's, that's something that would make me very happy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so she needs a clever guy. Okay. And bachelorette number three. Um, just quality time, just taking time out of the day, I think. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right. Well, that's all the time we have for questions. Hopefully you got a feel for the ladies next door and um, who you're going to pick. Um, before you decide who you get to go on your awesome date to Jimmy John's with, oh boy. you have to decide two to go home that won't get to go on the date with you. You can't have them all. You can't have them <laughs> all. All right, so we'll give you a little bit of time to think about the two ladies you want to eliminate, all right? All right. One moment. <laughs> Bachelor who has been in deep contemplation. He's been sweating profusely. He has been pouring over this in prayer, as you can tell. Oh, yes. It's, yes, indeed. It's worry. It is worrisome time, but this dark tunnel will have some light at the end of it. It'll be great. All right. So, who is the first bachelorette that you just, you weren't feeling for, your, for yourself? Uh, I would have to say bachelorette number two. I didn't feel like there was much uh, I was resonating with her, unfortunately. Okay, goofy lady, bachelorette number two, head on over and give our, our bachelor a hug. Yeah, you do. Hey. Aww. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And who was the other lady that you just, that she just didn't quite make it? I have to say bachelorette number one. She had a lot of good qualifications that I really liked and enjoyed, but wasn't quite it for me, unfortunately. Okay, bachelorette number one. Oh, all righty. Well, the moment we've all been waiting for. Are you excited? Yes. Let's see it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, bachelorette number three, head on over and give us a hug. Yes. Okay, let's get over here. And before we give you your, your stuff for your free date to Jimmy John's Sandwich Shop, we get to end the night with a dating game kiss. So everyone pucker up and... Mwah.